The Data Protection Acts 1988 and 2003, as amended, govern the safeguarding of privacy rights of individuals in relation to the processing of their personal data under Irish law. Section 11 of these Acts restrict the transfer of personal data outside of the EEA unless that third country provides an adequate level of protection for the privacy of that individual. On a practical level, it's important to bear in mind that a transfer not only includes the physical transfer of personal data, but also includes the access of personal data from a country outside of the EEA. Now that we have political agreement in relation to the EU General Data Protection Regulations, which are likely to be adopted this year and come into force in 2018, it's important to bear these in mind also. Like the Acts, it's expected that these regulations will maintain the same general restrictions on the transfer of personal data outside the EU. However, it is likely that there will be stricter conditions applying to what is considered adequate for such a transfer. The Data Protection Directive provided the ability for the Commission to decide that a non-EU country ensures an adequate level of protection. In July 2000, the Commission adopted the Safe Harbour decision, recognising that the Safe Harbour Privacy Principles issued by the Department of Commerce of the US as providing adequate protection for the purposes of personal data transfers to the US. As a result, the Safe Harbour decision allowed the transfer of personal data to companies in the US that had signed up to these principles. Under the Safe Harbour regime, US companies could self-certify a commitment to protect personal data in accordance with standards which were accepted to meet European requirements. Companies signed up to the regime by notifying the US Department of Commerce and the US Federal Trade Commission was responsible for the enforcement of Safe Harbour. While the regime was voluntary, the rules became binding once they were signed up to by the relevant companies. On the 6th of October 2015, the Court of Justice of the European Union declared that the Safe Harbour regime, which was previously used to legitimise the transfer of personal data to the US, to be invalid. This is on the basis that the original Safe Harbour decision did not take account of the overriding US legislation which permitted the US authorities to have access to personal data of EU citizens in the US. In addition to that declaration, the Court of Justice of the European Union also held that data protection authorities in the EU are not and should not be fettered by the Commission's decision on the adequacy of the data protection laws of any other third country to provide protection when personal data is transferred outside of the EU. Therefore, data protection authorities should be free to investigate the adequacy rulings of third countries in response to complaints. One point to note in relation to this power to investigate is that the data protection authorities do not have the right to rule that a decision of adequacy made by the Commission is invalid. In such cases, the data protection authorities must refer its concerns to the Court of Justice who will then rule on this matter. The Safe Harbour regime was not the only mechanism available to companies when considering transferring personal data to the US. There are other exemptions to the restrictions on the transfer of personal data outside of the EEA. Companies may consider, for example, entering into the EU Commission approved model clauses, which is a model form agreement entered into by the relevant data exporter and data importer, which allows for the transfer of personal data outside of the EEA. Multinational companies may also wish to consider putting in place binding corporate rules across their international organisation. Binding corporate rules are internal rules which must be approved by a national data protection supervisory authority and which govern and facilitate the transfer of personal data outside of the EEA to a group company located in a country which is not deemed to provide an adequate level of protection.
Following the decision by the Court of Justice of the European Union, the Article 29 Working Party quietly released a brief statement explaining that the Data Protection Authority should take enforcement actions against businesses continuing to rely on Safe Harbour as a basis for legitimising the transfer of personal data outside of the EEA. If companies have not already done so, we would recommend that companies assess their contractual arrangement with US-based service providers in order to ensure that they are relying on an appropriate mechanism to justify the transfer of personal data to the US. It's important to bear in mind that there is also advanced negotiations between the EU and the US authorities in relation to an agreement in principle on Safe Harbour 2.0. It has been indicated that a final agreement should be achieved soon, however we haven't been provided with an exact timeline. Switzerland has also confirmed through a statement issued by the Swiss Data Protection Authority that the US-Swiss safe harbour regime no longer stands as a valid legal basis for transferring personal data to the US. Israel has also announced that safe harbour is unlawful and thus follows the same opinion of the EU and Switzerland on data transfers to the US.